the 2-2. Third base off of Calabrese into shallow left field. Here comes Borges around third. He'll score, and the Jags are on the board. Hit to the opposite field. That's a base hit, and many will score. Matthews around the score. Here comes Will Turner. Here comes Brennan Holt. Three-run score, and a double for Lucas Ismaili clears the bases. One, two, called, strike three, inside corner. Single Jackson. by Duncan Matthews. And he will hit that one hard, left side. Langley going back to the wall, it is gone. Turner's got plenty of speed. Turner going on the pitch, goes the opposite field. Morgan will get the RBI. Turner scores easily, and the Jags are back out in front, 6-5. Coming off a Sunday where the Jags played at Texas State, and it was a 3-1 ball game. Bouncer to the left side. Here comes Brennan Holt. No throw, and there you go. 7-5, South Alabama. Fly ball right center field. That is going back, back, and gone. Will Turner, he joins the home run parade. 0-2 from Johnson. He will go to left field. There's a base hit. Borges coming around. Will he score again? Absolutely he will. Brett Johnson, RBI. Tyler Borges, his third run scored. The 0-1. Fly ball, Will Turner, center field, holds his hands up, says, I got it, no problem, and there you go. Gant Starling, five complete innings of work, and that's a big win. It was huge. I, I, to me, it, it came down to, you know, toughness today. The series came down to toughness. Um, fortunately, we were at home, and, and, and we could bat last um, if we needed to. Um, you know, on the road, who knows, but at home, um, we, we this team has an edge to them, and I knew if it came down to that, I liked our chances. That's what I told our guys before the game, told it to them before the weekend, and told it to them after the game. So our guys were tough. We're down 2 nothing. Give up a wind aided home run. You still got to hit it. Um, Gillis could have Gillis could have broke after that. Gillis kept competing. That's why we started him. Shine flew is absolutely fantastic. Um, and, and then Gant Starling. What, you know what can you say about about those two kids, Shine flew and and, uh, and Starling today? They were they were phenomenal. And talk about boards offensively. Yeah, Borge was great today. Um, you know, we had seven guys contribute with RBIs. I think Borge had two. Um, hit that solo home run, big two strike. The, when we put up a crooked number, Borge let us off with that two strike single up the middle. Um, it was about a 47 hopper, but it was with two strikes, and he just bared down and, and grinded through that at bat. And, um, you know, offense is contagious. It did not look good. It didn't feel good early in the game. That guy was throwing 93 mile an hour sinkers. The wind was moving his ball all over the place. Um, our guys hung in there tough on the mound, gave us a chance to settle in. And, and they have a very talented bullpen, as you saw, but it gave us a chance to, to get to some of their guys, which is what we did. Proud of our effort. Yes, sir. No, that was a good day. But, you know, from a team aspect, it was just everybody was ready to go today. You know, even if they didn't have the uh, best day overall, it's like, hey, we need a two strike RBI single right here. And, you know, it's just we got a lot of guys that are just they're not scared. And, you know, they get after it. And, However they got to get it done, we get it done, you know, as an offense, and we're that's what we're good at. 3 nothing doesn't look great early, uh, doesn't seem to deter you guys. No, not at all, and that's the thing. It's actually funny, uh, JG was joking about it yesterday. He said, if you score in the first inning, you're going to lose. So when they did that, obviously it's like, all right, hey, we got to go, but there was no doubt with this team, you know. The pitching kept us in it, gave us our offense a chance, you know, kind of was a little slow, but once we got going, we got going, and it was great. Yes, sir. It means a lot to this team, and we, we want to come out here and protect our home turf, and, and I'm glad we achieved that goal this week. Uh, JMU's no slouch, I can tell you. They got some good hitters. They got some good fielders, man, that can swing it. Uh, so being able to attack their guys and then watching our offense produce like that, it just does something different, especially from a pitching standpoint. Uh, looking in, it's easy to easy to pitch behind an offense like that. So uh, I'm taking, I tell them all the time, I'm taking this team over everybody else. I'm going to war with this team. So that's kind of what it means to me, and, and I know it means a lot to these guys. Watching both aspects just dominate, it seems like. So just giving us a chance. Talk about the faith they had in you to let you go that long. Yeah, it just means a lot. You know, I'm, I'm, I promised them I'm going to go out there, give them everything I got, and whenever the dust settles, we'll, we'll, we'll let it settle where it may. But um, we're going to go out there, and, and if it was Grant Wood, if it was Logan Wash, whoever, whoever it is, you know, we're riding with that guy. 
um, and I believe that they're going to go every every step of the way for us until the next person's up. You know, so um, Coach Calvi having the trust in me, I've never done this before, going out there throwing that many pitches. Um, it means a lot to me, and, and I look at it, and I, I want to get him to win. He deserves it, man. This team deserves it. We push hard. Uh, so being able to do that, it, it means a lot to me. I want to thank the, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, first and foremost. But um, just kind of means a lot getting that strength from him. And then Coach Calvi believing in me, all the guys believe me, and it means a lot. So. so.